I am such an important document. I really, really need to be able to share all my information with other people. Um, unfortunately, that person over there only has Microsoft Word. So um, I can't use PowerPoint to show them what, how important I am. Hey! hey. PSD file, a Photoshop file, and I wanted to get into other applications, that, uh, but I couldn't because I was only for Photoshop. So I converted myself to a JPEG, and that allowed me to get into a lot of different programs. But how'd you do that? Well. File extensions are like most things with computers. They appear more complicated than they really are. An extension is just a name. Names that have been abbreviated. Abbreviated largely because the early developers did not much like to type. Plus, early computers were very limited in resources. Saving bytes of data was a priority. So let's look at a few examples. A very important extension is EXE. This is just an abbreviation of the word executable which means this is a file that can start things. In other words, a program. Another example is WMA. This is an abbreviation of Windows Media Audio. These files are sound files that play in many programs and media players. Another file extension is ZIP. This is an abbreviation of, well, actually I guess it's not, it's just ZIP. This is a compression file or a space saving file. WinZip is a very common file compressor. Let's do one more example. HTML, or Hypertext Markup Language. HTM files are used in website design. By typing out the whole phrase, Hypertext Markup Language, I think you can see the benefits of abbreviation. Well, that's enough for now, but you can learn more yet about file extensions by clicking on the links over to the right. Have a great day.